Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I'm going to be showing you a clear embossed ombre resist. In this video I'm going to show you how to do this ombre resist technique. Now I just want to point out that you can see I have all these little spots and that's from my embossing powder sticking to my card. So we're going to use the Stamp Buddy this time to see if we can prevent some of those spots from happening. So I have a card here and I have taken my Distress Inks and made a sort of an ombre effect. Now you want to do this and then let it dry. I would probably, even when you use your heat tool and you think it's dry, it's still not dry. Because I did this a couple times and I found my embossing powder is stuck to the wetness of the Distress Ink. So this has dried for a long time now. So you might want to, if you're doing this, do some background, set it aside and then the next day go back and do your embossing because when you're using Distress Ink in this quantity, it does get quite wet. So I have my Stamp Buddy and I'm going to just put it over top and see if we can prevent some of those crystals from sticking to it. I am using this stamp here. It's like Falling Hearts. I think it's a Simon Says Stamp stamp came out a while ago and I'm using the Versamark um, watermark stamp pad. Now because the it's quite sticky and foamy you have to just be careful especially in these bottom parts down here. Um, it's really simple to have your ink pad touch your stamp down here and then get transferred onto your card. So you don't want to push too hard onto that area. The ink pad is quite sticky and will transfer the image. Um, when I use these big, uh, the big stamps like this, I tend to just put my card to it rather than stamping, um, putting the stamp on. I'll put my card to it and then just burnish it with my fingers. So you want to make sure that all your area, the hearts get transferred. So I can see a bunch of hearts. You might be able to see because it adds a little shine to the card. And now I'm going to add my embossing powder. Now I'm going to use clear powder because I want the color of the ink to show through um, my heart. So I'm covering the whole thing with embossing powder. And that is why I recommend making sure your card is really dry because you are covering the whole card it's really some easy for it to just stick to all that moisture. So I'm going to knock it off. Look around. I do notice I have this one little area here where um, some of the ink would have been transferred, but otherwise I think it's pretty good. So even though it looked like I use a lot of powder, a lot gets returned back. You actually don't use that much. Okay, so now it is time to heat it up with my heat tool. So while you are heating, you want to make sure you keep your fingers away from the heat because it's very hot. And now you can see I have nice shiny little hearts. 
see my hearts onto the page. So I'm just going to let this cool a, just for a quick moment while I prepare my next part. We want those hearts to pop up. So I'm going to use some black soot distress ink with my tool. And just having the darkness in the background will really make our hearts pop. So let me just, yeah, that's cool enough. And it's also the moment of truth when we find out how much embossing powder we had stuck to uh, our card. So I'll go through with the first layer of the black and then I can come back with a second if I want it darker. But you can see those hearts just popping up. So you can use clear embossing powder over top of anything. You could even do a pattern piece of paper, stamp a clear embossing design over it, and then ink it up and the texture from your paper will be caught behind that embossing. And that's another. There's so many techniques out there for clear embossing resists. This is just to give you a couple ideas and get your wheels turning about what you can do. So that's fine for now. It's pretty good if you compare it to this one here where I didn't use the stamp buddy and all those little bits, whereas here we only have a few little bits. So using that stamp buddy really makes a difference in terms of um, static on your card, especially when you're covering the entire card with your embossing powder. And that is the clear ombre resist technique. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a few other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.